Starting in the top right hand side here, we have a smaller 3CX logo. We have our help guides that takes you straight to the 3CX website. We have our QR code here for the mobile application. Best advice is to download the mobile app from the App Store or Google Play and then simply scan the QR code here. We have our telephone icon, which is just free type either a number or a name. You see here there's a drop down. This is our device drop down where I can select to use either the browser itself as my telephone or I can use a physical handset. If you use a physical handset, all actions made through the web client are run from the device itself. So I make a phone call here, it rings from my physical device. I'll make a very quick phone call. Okay, we have the same set of in call functions as we had on the last version with our hold and resume with mute that just cuts off the microphone so you can still hear the caller they just cannot hear you we have our standard transfer and attended transfer our conference video keypad and you can see by the blue that we are recording a call. If you wish to take that off, press for ad hoc stop start call recording. On the left hand side here, we have the icon for the individual users tabs where I can select my status. And at the bottom here, I can set a temporary status which then shows on my tab. The options for every tab are the same. Obviously we can see here we have the colored dots and a little bit of text for the status options of colleagues. I can call video, instant chat and favorite. I also have options on the ellipsis for intercom, email, leaving a voicemail, video conference, and as a manager, I can set the status and assign calls, etc. On my left hand side here, you will see that I have the white dot here for downloading the desktop application itself. If you choose to download this, simply follow the install here, and when you have the uh, desktop app installed, then click provision to provision the desktop application. We are currently on the team tab here. If I drop down, I have my chat. I can launch a new chat. I can have a one to one or I can have a group chat. I've got my web meeting. I can build a new web meeting here, audio, video or webinar. And I can choose to launch it now or at a later time and date. Simply select your date, select your time, put in your subject and notes, and you can choose to run the appointment from your Google Calendar, from your Microsoft 365, or you can choose legacy and simply free type in the email addresses to add the attendees. Going on down the left hand side, I have my call log. Panel has replaced switchboard, but you'll notice that all of the options I had previously are now tucked into the corner here. So I have the wallboard, the reminders if you choose to have the hotel package. The ellipsis here takes me into the contacts. My voicemail tab and settings. In the settings, I have my general settings. I can load an image to my tab. 
I can choose to have new credentials, new passwords. I can choose how the chat pops out. I can choose my devices for audio, such as a headset, a webcam for obviously visual. How do you wish to see the layout here? You would have it via extension number, first name, last name, or last name, first name. My status options here, I can preset all of my status options. So I could pre input here, so away 17th to 21st. There we go. And I can choose what happens to my phone calls under each status. So if I set myself to annual leave, do my calls want to go to voicemail, as they are here, for internal and external calls, or do I want to send them to extension numbers of colleagues, to my mobile, to an external number, or to a system extension, such as a call queue or a digital receptionist? And that can be changed under every single status. If I click down to greetings here, I can record a greeting give it a file name that will ring the device that you are set to. And you can record as many greetings as you like. Uh, for example, if I wanted to pre-record now um, a message for in a meeting or for being on annual leave, I can record those messages and then I can select them. So I can put my meeting one under away and I can put my annual leave one into the annual leave tab here. And when I select those statuses, up here, it would then automatically play those messages. I have the QR code here as well. I'm going to skip integration because that's personal to every single user and company. And I have my BLF options here. That's for putting busy lamp fields on telephones if you have physical devices. Simply select the BLF option for colleagues and custom speed dials or agent login, log out, depending on your personal requirements. That's a very brief overview, obviously the new layout of the version 18 web clients.